Welcome <coughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video If you're new here, welcome to my channel You're gonna see the most inappropriate topics ever spoken about on my channel and I'm a hot mess and You're hopefully gonna like it if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for putting up with me and coming back to my channel and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Helps me out. Doesn't hurt you to do it. I mean, just click the button. It's just not gonna kill you. And it's gonna make me happy, so. Now, bitch, today's video is so full of tea that I'm so full already from sipping it all. If you don't already know, I have been casually hooking up with a straight man for the last bunch of months. Probably almost a year now, actually. If you haven't seen my first video about this individual, I'm gonna link it up here and below. It's my most watched video up till now, so I'm very happy about that. So, watch that one first if you wanna catch up on what's the situation and what's going on, honey. Let's get started because I have a lot to talk about. So, as always, I have my notes, so if you ever see me looking at my phone, I have my phone in my hand, that's why I'm doing it. I'm gonna start with a very, very, very quick recap about this person. If you wanna know how we met, again, the video will be linked below and it will pop up again up there, so. Watch that one, trust me. It's my most viewed for a motherfucking reason. So this individual is a 27 year old Dominican male. I'm pretty sure that's how old he was. I honestly don't remember if he gave me his name. I don't think he did, so let's just go with that. His explanation to me was that he identifies as straight, 100%. However, <laughs> Like, he says that he's only sexually attracted to men, but wants the whole getting married with a woman and having kids type of thing. Don't ask me, because I don't get it. I'm gay, and I'm happy to be gay, so I don't... I don't get it. He's extremely attractive, 100% my type, and is hung like a mother horse <laughs> like I have never seen something so big in my entire life and I've seen my fair share of that sounded kind of gross whatever now let's get started with the real 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 tea we've been hooking up very randomly for the last bunch of months honestly since like last November ish probably like October and the only reason I kept doing it was because, one, I'm extremely attracted to him, and, bitch, I like big, <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie. Never, never, ever, 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 ever did I catch feelings for this individual. If anything, I was stigmatized, honestly, like, truly. Now, the problem with him was that it was always on his time. If I wanted to hook up randomly, I wouldn't get a reply to like a week later or something. He has a whole private ass Snapchat for being a gay whore. Like... <sighs> now, there came to a point where we stopped speaking to each other for like three months because of the next reason that I'm gonna talk about right now. One day he hits me up, like always, usually pretty late because he works late and like he has to like sneak me into his house because he lives with his mom. I'm not shitting on him living with his mom. I live with my mom too, so like that's not the point. We talk, talk, talk. He f***ing baits me with so many dick videos, like... Wow. Sends me all these dick videos, all these dick pics, all these snaps, all this stuff, and honey, hook, line, and sinker. Bitch, he was reeling me in, pulling me in like the thirsty ass gay that I was at that moment. Now, we made plans to meet up that night, which I was so ready for because I was so horny and it, it, it just had been a long time since I've hooked up with someone and like, I was mother ready i was ready i was ready 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 so throughout the day he keeps replying to me and eventually he goes silent and i already knew i already felt it 
Hello. All right, sorry, my best friend called me. Back to my story. I don't know where I was, but let's continue. We had planned whatever, whatever, and I already knew he was gonna bail on me. But you know, the horniness in me and the stupidity in me was like, nah, you're good. Like, he hit you up, he asked you to chill. He gonna do it. The time we were supposed to meet up comes around, and he does initially hit me up. Says to come over, tells me he's tired, and I'm like, okay, well, let me know, because, like, I'll stay home if you're gonna fall asleep. I don't live extremely far, but it's 20 minutes away. That's 20 minutes of my life that I'm not gonna get back if something were to happen. You know what I mean? Like, if you were to fall asleep or whatever. Tell me how. After I message him, I am leaving, no reply. I park to message him again. I am very close to your house. Give him time to reply. Luckily he does. And tells me that he's too tired and that we should do it another night. Are you serious? I went off. Pretty much rashed him for being so flip-floppy, so insecure with the sexuality. 2018, you can be gay, nobody cares. And there's a 99% chance your mom already knows you're sucking dick. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Everyone comes out at different times, everyone deals with it differently. But honey, after that, we unfollow each other, and that was that. Until he hits me up about a month ago. Huh. Now, he added me back on Snapchat, and then I added him back, because his is private, mine's not. I can't reply to him if we're not friends. You know how Snapchat works, whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. He wants to come back. He wants some of this... So, I'm gonna give it to him, it's cool, like, I want some of his too, so, you know? And we're talking, everything's cool, he didn't even bring up the argument, he didn't bring up me rashing him or nothing. He was being really nice, very sexual, very flirty, and I was like, okay, I'm about to get my rocks off, like, I'm cool, popping, fresh, I need it, it's been months, like, I'm frustrated. And he finally goes, have you ever gone to a gay bathhouse? If you follow me on Twitter, which if you do, I hope you're 18 plus because I'm very explicit on Twitter, you will see that I'm very sexual, very open, and I express my feelings about sexuality and penises and asses, and I'm just a horny little f***er, I guess. I had one threesome, and I've only let, like, four or five guys penetrate me in ten years, and I dated two of them for three years of pop, so... I'm not a whore. This mouth, though, that's a whole different story for a whole different video. <laughs> he's talking to me, he's explaining to me that he went to the bathhouse, that he was terrified about it at first, but that it was very chill, it's not as extreme as you would think it is, which, I mean, I get it. Stuff in porn and, like, it just gets... It just looks crazy. Like, porn, gay porn and straight porn is unrealistic. Like, don't believe it. So to me, I'm thinking, like, orgy here, orgy there, come over there, draining jizz. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm freaked out. Like, I'm listening to him talk about this, and I'm sitting there like, is he serious right now? Whatever. He tells me he had a great time. Nobody, like, came out to him and was disrespectful. Nobody grabbed his junk. Nobody grabbed his butt. Like, it was just, like, a very respectful area, place whatever location I don't know he's talking to me more and more but I already knew that I was not gonna go like I wanted to go very badly but only to hook up with him but in my mind I didn't think it was logical for me to like go all the way to Providence Rhode Island pay to have sex with someone that I've had sex with for free before and like yeah, he was gonna drive, he was gonna smoke me up, and he even offered to pay the fee for me to get in, but... So I'm telling him, like, I don't wanna go, I don't feel comfortable, and he's surprised because of how I am, and yeah, I get it, but that's like, you can't judge a book by its cover, like, just because I'm 
I'm not really a whore, but like just because I'm very sexually open and sexually fluid doesn't mean that I want to go to a bathhouse and get gangbanged by five guys. Like, no. He keeps pushing and pushing and pushing. He's like, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna kidnap you. Obviously joking and being like funny and cute. And I'm just like, ha, 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 no, you're not. I'm all set. I don't want to go. I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to walk around naked in front of strangers. Side note, I am very confident in my own skin. I love my body, but that's just weird to me. I'm sorry. Maybe one day in the future I'll go. I don't know. Don't hold that against me, but... I'm trying to tell him, like, if you only want to hook up with me, which I highly doubt. Yeah, I think he was just trying to bait me to go, like... We can just hook up at your house or my house for mother... Free. You already experienced the bathhouse. I don't want to experience the bathhouse. He went by himself. He messaged me the next morning and explains like, oh, I went by myself. Like, you're so lucky you didn't go. It was so whack. There was nobody there. But he for sure got his rocks off. So like, I don't know why he was downplaying it. Like, he probably got gangbanged. Like, I don't trust him. I don't... Don't trust him. Don't trust a straight man that cleanly, perfectly has a smooth ass when I personally identify as a bottom mostly and I haven't shaved my ass in like four months. Like what? How? What? Do women not ask you why your ass is shaved? Like I would be like, why is your ass bare and you're perfectly... Why? Not that straight guys can't shave their ass. Now at this point, I'm like 100% over him. Like... I was already mad and like over it beforehand when he made me drive to his house and like build on me. Like to the point where I was gonna leak his nudes but then I felt bad and I didn't wanna get sued or go to jail so like... I'm very spiteful, I'm very petty, I'm very vengeful, like get over it. So yeah, I'm a f***ing idiot and yeah, I'm a thirsty ass bottom gay. I decided to respect myself and know my worth and unfollow him on Snapchat and end it, cut it, no more. I don't care how big or how hung you are. I don't care how attractive you are. I don't care about nothing. He can only last like 20 minutes anyway. Get your stroke game up, honey. <laughs> he got lucky with me personally because I'm not the type of person to like blow up your spot. If you aren't comfortable coming out of the closet, that's your problem, not mine. Like, deal with it. So I deaded it, I cut it, and I ended it. And that's it, I'm done. Like, I can find any penis from any guy. Like, I have guys hitting me up all the time and I don't want none of them. And that's it, that's that. It just baffles me, but I learned my lesson to not get ever baited by a straight guy. Straight guys are dangerous, straight guys are dangerous. And yeah, they're fun, and yeah, it's good sex usually because straight guys, it's like a taboo for them. Straight guys. Ugh. Like, shut up. And I'm just not gonna do it no more. Like, no DL guys hit me up. No straight guys hit me up. I'm all set. Live your own truth that you believe. And keep me the f*** out of it. Dick is not that serious. And I will never get digmatized again. <laughs> Done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Make sure you subscribed. I'll see you next time. Bye.